Hi, I'm Anandita. I'm from Kilbourne Middle School. I'm an 8th grader here, and I wanted to show you my STEM classroom. That's like what we do here. So come on in. So it looks like it's, they're throwing a curveball. And so once, once they've experienced that, we sit down and we debrief and talk about why that is that it looks that way. And the kids get such a kid out of knowing that they've contributed to something real. And by the time that you've added all of those up, tell me what your total length is, and then I'll give you the material. Um, someone once said that no education occurs without emotion, and so when the, the state own the project and they do the design, they do the investigation and the discovery, then it becomes theirs and there is emotion because there's success, there's, there's failure, there's frustration, and they remember those things. And the, the learning is far more enduring than if you were sitting in a classroom in a row listening to the teacher talk and then testing at the end of the of the quarter or at the end of the period. So these are these are real. This is a practical approach to learning math and science and also they have opportunities to apply the social studies and language arts for sure um, in this. So we're very pleased at what we've been able to wrap up in one ball. Um, and, and the kids enjoy it, and the kids learn from it. Well, myself, as being a core science teacher, we make sure we're hitting upon all the standards, state standards, and uh, the curriculum map that we need to follow throughout the year. And it's very vocabulary rich, but then when we bring in Mr. Miller as an elective teacher, we can take these vocabulary words, these theories, these laws into practice, into a real world setting, and create these projects that require students to think about how they view their surrounding world and how they can apply their knowledge to solve problems. If we have, say, a mousetrap car project, the students will, will build their mousetrap, but as they go on, they document the process of the design process. Mm -hmm. They document in journaling on the problems they encountered, how to correct them, how to overcome them. And they have a, a write-up for each project, and so, yes, we use the language arts teachers to, to help bring in that knowledge from their language arts classroom into this project because middle school students sometimes get lost in the translation of math class is outside of the room of, math is outside of the walls of a math class. It can be applied in other places. Same with, same with language arts. And so with STEM, it, it really just breaks down those barriers. It's, it's all integrated. Here. This is our marble sachet project. Um, what we did was we built projects that will get uh, the marble from point A to point B in five seconds. And we have to do that within certain constraints of like a size limit. It could only be 40 centimeters high and then 25 long and 20 wide. Thanks for coming in our classroom and investing in our future. We really appreciate it.